Hi guys, welcome back. It's my Trini trailer here and we are learning another um, bracelet in your bracelet making kit that you have received. Um, so our bracelet here today is gonna be the single strand, um, I'm gonna call it the Morse code bracelet because I think that it looks like Morse code and you can do kind of a design that looks like that. So we'll, we'll call it that and we'll get started. So in your kit, you'll have long ropes and then you'll have extra long ropes or cords. We're gonna just pull out the regular long cord. Um, so you'll notice that some are, if you unravel them are like really long and then there's some that are just kind of this length. Um, so we're gonna use this one. And then you'll also have another cord in there that's kind of shorter. We're gonna use this one later for our closure so we can actually set that one aside. So we're gonna use this long rope here and this will be our bracelet, the outer part of this and the, um, the knotted part too. So I'll show you how to get started on that. Put this to the side. And then we're gonna start by just securing this down to the table. Um, if you have tape, that's great. You can use tape or you can use something heavy like this plant here. It should hold it pretty well. We're gonna hold, um, we're gonna be pulling on the rope quite a bit. I prefer the tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape the macrame cord down here. And then as you see on our bracelet here, we need quite a bit of space of rope to do our closure. So I recommend anywhere from three inches up to um, about eight or 10 inches. I'm gonna just do my little radical symbol here and kind of just guesstimate where I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna put my finger there. That's where we're gonna start. Next, we're gonna adhere our strand of beads. Um, so these are gonna um, just hang out on these beads and then we'll be pulling them up as we do our design. We just have to attach them right now. So I'm gonna go back to that reference point of where we're gonna start our bracelet. Hold the um, strand of beads parallel to that and then we're just gonna make a knot. And it's totally okay if you make the knot too far. Just make sure that you have about anywhere from four to three inches from the knot to the end of your bracelet because that's where we're gonna have to do the closure. So I'm going to tie this guy close to the top here so that they're tied together. And with that knot, you wanna pull it kind of tight. We're gonna pull it tight we are going to clip these guys off so that that's not hanging out in our bracelet. So we're gonna clip those off. So all of this is attached. Now these are two strands here that we'll be working with. I'm gonna pull this guy up so that I can work on it a little bit better. Awesome, so you're at this point, we have our macrame cord and then we have our strand that has our beads on it. We are going to be working with our macrame cord and then this strand is going to stay stationary. So we're actually going to go ahead and tape this strand of beads down. Make sure it's nice and secure because we're going to be pulling on it a lot. And then I'm going to add a little bit extra tape up here too so that'll stay put as well. Awesome. So the knot that we're, we're gonna be learning is just a friendship bracelet knot. You may have heard of it being called. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but I'm just gonna call it a friendship bracelet knot. Um, so this is our stationary string. This is our working string. So this is one we're gonna be working with the whole time. So we'll go ahead and get started. So with our macrame string, we're going to pull it over the string in the middle then under and through. I'll go over that again. So we're gonna go over the string in the middle. That With that same string, we're gonna go under the string in the middle. So around it, through our loop over here, and then over our left side. And then it's wrapping around, and we just pull it all the way to the top. 
And to make sure that the, the knot is tight, I like to just hold the knot on the string and pull this cord. And you can also pull it up like so. And that's our first knot. And we're just gonna do that knot over and over again. And then as you do these knots, you'll notice that they'll start to spin. That's normal, we want that. That's gonna look really great. Again, to get the, the knot nice and tight, you can hold the knot on the string and pull your macrame cord. And then also give it a tug up so that it kind of pulls up to the next one. If you're noticing that there's spacing, if you turn the knot around and you notice that there's spaces in there, you can also hold on to this knot and then just push up on your macrame cords. Awesome. So from here, I'm gonna add a bead, and it's really simple. You already have the beads on the string. You don't have to string anything. That's the best part about this bracelet. And we're gonna just pull how many ever beads you want up. Um, I call this the Morse code bracelet because you can, if you look up online, the Morse code is actually a series of dots and dashes to make letters. I'm not sure what I made here. I wasn't intentionally putting a letter in here, um, but you're welcome to look them up and kind of see what those dots and dash series are to make a letter, a word, or whatever you would like. I'm just gonna do a pattern here. So I'm gonna pull one bead up and then we're gonna go straight back into the knot. So we're gonna go over the one in the middle, take that same string, go under the one in the middle, and then over our left side to make a wrap around our middle cord. And we're gonna pull tight to the bead here. And you'll notice that there's like extra string here. It gets kind of loose on the side. You can fix that just by pulling up and down to kind of get a tighter knot. And then also doing the same thing by grabbing your knot on the string and kind of pulling this way. And that gets it nice and tight and it kind of pushes your bead out so it's nice up in the front and looks really nice. So we're just gonna continue our knots, the four pattern. I'm gonna do my knots. You can choose if you wanna do like a pattern, like do six knots, then a bead or whatever. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do six knots and a bead. So if you want to do it how I am, that is what I am doing here. And I'm working on my sixth knot here. You'll see that it twirls around on the string. And that's what we want. I'm gonna bring another bead up. And our total length for this bracelet that I'm making is about probably two and a half inches of the whole pattern. You're welcome to do more around the bracelet just keep in mind that we are gonna make this closure and this is how we keep the bracelet together. So just leave enough room. So you could potentially do pattern all the way up to I'd say about right here and then leave enough room for your closure. All right, then continue on with our knots. I'm gonna do six again. Again, I'm going back and forth, up and down to make that that knot here tight and that the string is tight beside the bead. So up and down, I'll hold the knot and pull it and then pull it back up again. Then I do six knots here. another bead in our series. This time I am going to add two beads here to kind of mimic our, our already done 
bracelet here. And it's just the same if you do two beads or three beads. It'll just be the same knot after it. And then you just rock it back and forth, up and down, just to get that knot tight and the string taut next to the beads. And I'll hold it and pull it. And we'll just continue with our knots here. And again, I'm gonna do six knots. You're welcome to do whatever pattern you like. And if your string gets a little loose, you can always just pull the string down in your tape and retape it. I like to do that so that it helps me get my knots tighter on the, tighter on the, the line here. Another piece of tape and kind of tape it down a little bit more there. And one more knot, and I'll add my next bead here. And then just continue with your knots. And by now you're probably a pro at this. So it's gonna go a lot quicker than the beginning. And you'll notice that it gets a lot easier. And then just a side note, if you notice that you have a lot of space in the back of your knots, you can just tug on the string up here and it'll bring them closer together. Cause all of these knots are on the same string. Um, so you're welcome to do that if you want to push them up tighter, closer together. All right, and then I'm gonna add my last bead here. I'm gonna do my last strand of six knots and then we'll learn the closure and how to do that as well. knot here. I'm going to make this one pretty tight. And then I'm going to push them up a little bit so I get rid of that space in the back like I was talking about. And then we might have extra beads if you use all the beads again, great. If not, then you have extra beads at your house and that's awesome. We're going to then take our tape up so that we can tie a knot to secure everything on our bracelet so far. I'll just go ahead and just make a regular knot at the end. Just get it as close as you can to the end here. I like to just kind of hold the knot where I want it to stay and then pull the rest of the strings so that it stays at the very end of my pattern here. And so this is what the pattern looks like. We're then just gonna cut off our strand of beads really close to our knot there. And our pattern is done and that looks beautiful. How cute. And then from there, we're going to learn our closure. The closure knot that we are learning is called a box knot. It looks like this when it's done, when it's finished. And to prepare for that, we're gonna take our patterned part of our bracelet, fold it in half so that we can get the same amount of string on each side of our pattern. So I just cut that excess off there and we're going to fold it as if, as if it were a bracelet already so that we can put our box, box knot in here. All right, so the other string that we had in our box um, we're going to take that guy out now and we're going to use it to make our box knot. So at this point, you'll need a little bit more tape 
We're going to tape these two sides down to keep the two middle strings together. This is going to be our stationary string, so that's not going to move. We're going to be doing all the moving with this string here. So we're going to start by taking the string and just pulling it under our two strings in the middle. I'm going to take these strings together and just find a center point there. And then the center point of your strings should be a little bit above your center point of your pattern on your bracelet so that we can make a nice closure here and kind of close to the center of our pattern there. So we'll go ahead and get started on this. For this knot, we have a left, a middle, and a right. We're gonna, it's gonna be kind of similar to the knot we learned here, but a little bit more complicated, but it'll be, it'll be great. You'll be really good at it. All right, so we're gonna take our left string. We're gonna go over the two in the middle, and then we're gonna go under our right string. So over the two in the middle, and then under our right string. We're gonna leave that left string alone. I'm gonna take our right string, go under all of the ones in the middle, including our left string that came over to our right side, the two in the middle, and then we're gonna go over the farthest left. So it makes like a little pretzel knot here, and in the middle of the pretzel knot is the two strings there. And we're gonna close that really tight at the top. And that's our first knot of the box knot. What's different about the box knot and our regular knots is that we are going in a series of over and under our middle strings. So if you look really closely here, we have a little knot on the right side of our string. For the next time, it's gonna be on the left side. These little knots are really good indicators on as to what knot we need to do next and what knot, what string needs to go under and over next. So when this knot is on the right side, our string needs to go under first. So we'll go ahead and do that. So our second knot of the box knot, we're taking our left string, we are going under and over our right. And then we're gonna leave the left alone we're gonna take our right string, go over all the ones in the middle, and then under our farthest left string. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull that guy tight. And then you'll notice at the top on our, on our um, knot here, that our knot is now on the left side. So that's good. For the box knot, we have a series of knots going left and right and left and right. And we're going over and under and over and under. So that's kind of what we'll continue on going through here. So our knot is on the left side, so that indicates that we need to go over the two in the middle. So we're gonna go over the two in the middle and then under our right string. We're gonna leave the left alone, go under all the strings in the middle and then over our left one. So that was number three. And so for number four, our knot is on the right side so we're gonna go under for our next knot so we'll go under over this guy and these will go over and under and so you'll see our knot is now on the left so that's a good job we did great so you should have a knot over here and then over here, left and right continually. If you need any more instruction, you can go ahead and rewind the video. I'm just gonna finish out our knot here so we can finish up our bracelet. great thing about macrame is that it's just a series of knots so if you do mess up like that you're always welcome to just untie it and redo so our knot is on our left so we're going to go over first and under this guy leave that alone go
go under all three, which I forgot to do on the last knot, and then over our left knot. And for this knot, this closure, we're gonna do about eight knots and then we'll finish up. So I'll do one more knot here and then we will end our closure. And I messed up again. So if you if you notice, it'll start to turn. We don't want that. We just want it to be straight, like a box um, or a rectangle. So I'm gonna undo that knot and we'll redo that one again. So if you mess up, just remember where you, you went, if you went over or under, and then just do the opposite. So I went over, I'm gonna go under. That looks better, awesome. All right, so from here, we're gonna pull this last knot very tightly, get a good, tight, secure knot there. We're gonna cut these edges off here. And then I recommend if you have any nail polish or glue at home, even super glue will work, just put it on the edge there so that the um, ends won't fray. If they do, that's okay. Should still stay in the knot pretty nicely. To untape our bracelet and then our last step is just to tie these ends of our string here just so that it won't go through our closure and it'll stay closed even if we do get to the very end of our rope here all right and so how this closure works is that you just pull the cords through at first they're a little tight because they're not used to being so close together and after a while of working with them, they'll kind of adjust a little bit more easier. All right, and voila, there's our bracelet, the Morse code bracelet, as I like to call it. Thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you're doing great and have a great day.